When we grow old, we hope our loved ones will be there to protect us. But when that can't happen, isolated and vulnerable people can be easy prey for financial predators. Barbara is the victim of a cruel crime, allegedly carried out by two brothers, one of them a lawyer. Barbara is 89. She's frail and lives in this retirement village in Sydney's eastern suburbs. When we met Barbara, it was clear to us she suffers some cognitive impairment and isn't in a state to be interviewed. But what police allege happened to Barbara is too serious to ignore. Eric and Mark Shumsky are brothers, both aged in their 60s. Eric lived in the same retirement village as Barbara and is also a budding thespian who loves Shakespeare. Creeps in this petty pace from day. Mark is a solicitor who has broad experience across a number of areas of law. Mark, Dimity Clancy from A Current Affair. How does it feel to be on the other side of the law? Did you prey no on a comment. vulnerable old woman? No comment. What was it? What if it was your mother? What if it was somebody you loved, Mark? Detectives set up a strike force to investigate after receiving a tip off from Barbara's bank. Between the brothers, police allege they defrauded the elderly woman of $349,000. Officers claim between 2019 and 2022, Eric helped Barbara transfer $316,000 to him to pay for personal debts and living expenses. Eric was remanded in custody after he and his brother were arrested and charged. Mark was granted bail, but ordered to report to police three times a week. And that's where we caught up with him. Do you plan on defending the charges? Surely you must have something to say about the allegations against you. No comment. Can you tell us why anybody would do such a thing? Both the brothers have been charged with dishonestly obtained financial advantage by deception. Eric with one count, Mark with four. Both will face court next month. Are you upset by the allegations against you? Do you have anything to say to Barbara? I mean, we've spoken to Barbara. She's a really vulnerable elderly woman. Mark took refuge inside his law firm on Sydney's North Shore, where he's still practising. His employer, Stax Collins Thompson, part of Stax Law Group, sent us a statement. The practice will comply with all professional conduct obligations. The firm also says Barbara was never a client. Eric is yet to enter a plea. But Mark Shumsky's employer says he will fight the charges and Stax Collins Thompson will be representing him in court. You're a lawyer, you're supposed to practice with ethics and, and, and be honest. Is that how you would describe yourself? No comment. Solicitor Christine Smythe specialises in succession law and says these allegations shine a light on a bigger issue that an abundance of old money is contributing to an elder abuse epidemic. A large amount of wealth which is concentrated in a proportion of people, namely baby boomers and older generation, and they can hold the largest amount of wealth in this country. One in 15 Australians over the age of 65 and one in four over the age of 85 have some sort of cognitive impairment. They fail to appreciate what the red flags are because they're lonely, their memory might be failing, uh, their confidence might be failing. They say it takes a village to raise a child. It also takes a village to protect our vulnerable. And who knows, one day we might all need our village. If we all have the good fortune to age, then we are all at risk of this happening to each and every one of us. And that is why, as a community, we need to be taking a greater stance and stepping up and protecting our aged. We need to be doing everything we can to protect our elderly.